My name is uh, Gospel Omanya. I work with an institution called the African Agricultural Technology Foundation. Uh, we are based in Nairobi, where we have our headquarters and our regional offices in Abuja, in Nigeria. Uh, we are also working in one of the pro pro uh, programs uh, assisting one of the programs which is initiated by the African Development Bank uh, known as uh, uh, Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation uh, in Africa. And in this program, we are, as AATF, we are leading uh, the maize improvement section or the maize improvement compact, as we call it. Uh, today, we are, we are in Benin, Benin to do the work planning to plan the dissemination of the best water efficient maize and related technologies that can assist our farmers in the various agroecologies where maize is grown and suffers periodically from uh, water stress or, or, or drought. So uh, that's why we are here today in Benin. Uh, we are targeting to work in 12 countries, uh, Benin included. In Eastern Africa, we are targeting to start work in Ethiopia, in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda. And in Southern Africa, we'll be working in um, Malawi, uh, Zambia, and Mozambique. In uh, Western Africa, we'll be in Benin, Nigeria, and Ghana. Uh, even though that those are 12 countries, as I mentioned, we will probably be extending to other countries because we'll be using uh, all mechanisms, mechanisms for scale-out, such as uh, the regional harmonized regulation, regulations uh, pathway. We'll be using the regional, regionally harmonized regulations to have a spillover into other countries as much as we can because some of these water efficient maize technologies are actually uh, well adapted uh, beyond the, the five, the 12 countries uh, in, the, in various maize agroecologies. So we are optimistic that when these technologies are utilized by farmers, we'll have productivity increases of at least 30% improved maize productivity. Instead of having uh, the current, let's say, one ton or 1.2 tons per hectare, we should have, uh, you know, even three tons. You know, nothing prevents us to have even five tons if we use those maize technologies with good agronomic practices. But you're saying at least 30% of the productivity must go up. It is possible. We have the technologies. We have the manpower and with the resources from the AFDB bank, together with our partners, uh, we should be able to uh, reach pretty much over 2 million farm households uh, in the 12 countries, and even more by the spillover effects that we will uh, achieve uh, through our various mechanisms or pathways uh, to route as we disseminate the technologies. The Technologies for African Agricultural Transformations maize program uh, has since yesterday been developing a work plan for dissemination of those water efficient maize technologies. And we, have, we are targeting at least of course three years phase, but we have gone into detail implementation for this current year. We are saying that um, this is a program that is aligned with the Feed Africa strategy of the African Development Bank. And even though, even though we have, uh, it's a 10 year program, but we have to plan in phases. So we have currently, we are planning for three years and in more details for this year, which we are just accomplishing today. And once we do this, we are optimistic that uh, come April, Come April, which is next month, we will be getting resources to roll out the program 
in the at least 12 countries and work hard so that we can have spillover into other countries. So even though we are going to start with 12 countries, uh, the spillover effect may actually bring the number of countries to over 20. And uh, that's where we are today.